Hello guys, this is Quardox, thanks for tuning in. As always, on Monday I bring you the HEV Roundup, just to tell you what happened on my channel over the last week. And this was a very quiet week. It started out with a video I made about Survive the Nights that the developers have gone quiet for the last two to three weeks until they announced that the stress test will be very soon. But at the same time I was posting that video, just made it for fun basically, so that the people have to watch something when they come home from work. And at the same time they posted the update from Chita Culling and basically just let us know what they were working on. And I made a video, you can find it right here, about that and explain a little bit more in detail what this means and what this means especially for us as players. And on Saturday, as always, I got the weekly check back from Survive the Nights. You ask yourself probably why hasn't there been any Rush Island video and I wanna go real quickly on the Rush Island fan page or developers page and show you a little bit what they're doing and that isn't really that much. So they're, you see here, they posted the new traps and I already made a video about traps. I mentioned them in two videos and they have the soundtrack already uploaded and some screenshots of the world. They all look pretty nice, but besides that, there isn't really much I can tell you right now. They are working hard on map design and I think they also got what I heard all of the conversations I had with the lead developer, with the CEO of Rush Island, they have some problems with coding at the moment. I think they're even looking for some more help to get this done a little bit quicker, so we can finally show you guys some in-game gameplay or a trailer and then we can finally move to Kickstarter with this game. But at the moment there isn't a lot to tell. The Rush Island dev asked me if I can make a weekly check back like for Survive the Nights, but if I just scroll down here, what is there to tell, you know? You see here at April 17th, my video was posted for me here about traps and the game world, and since then there hasn't been much of development, to be honest. And I wanna go back to Survive the Nights, let's see what happens here. And they got us the results of the poll from the ammo names, they were asking us if we know some funny names maybe for ammo types, but the people wanted to have clear names that say Magnum ammo and rifle ammo. So for me personally, I think it's a cool decision as I already mentioned in my Survive the Nights videos. And then here they posted the dev update if you haven't seen it. Then let's just quickly watch my page and there's nothing special to be told. Got a few more likes this week and on my YouTube channel the same, basically I got a few subscribers, but a few also left. Then I also, if you, you've you probably seen right here, the last videos I uploaded were also a Resident Evil Revelations 2 walkthrough, but after I uploaded it without commentary, the people asked for commentary, and when I uploaded it with commentary, people weren't interested still. So the two views is something I had on the videos and the two likes, I don't know guys. It's nothing. I just wanted to try out if you guys were interested in some walkthroughs and let's play or something, but it didn't work, so I deleted it and I will focus on Survive the Nights in Russia Island. But with that being said, if there is nothing I can focus on, then the question is what content can I bring on my channel? And this brings me to some awesome news. I've mentioned this in the last three videos, I think. And I need to be careful what I can say right now because I'm under some kind of disclosure agreement. It's not anything like a form that you have to sign or something, but the developer asked me to not reveal anything. I was talking with him a few times and writing and there is a game coming. All I can tell you is that it's a survival game and that's all the information I can really give you right now. I would love to tell you. I know so much about the game already and have seen stuff, but the game will be basically on my channel as an exclusive until it is released. I can't tell you when the release date is, but uh, what I can tell you is that stay tuned guys, it won't be long, it will be, to, so I don't lie, uh, about I think three more weeks until I can show you something, but from then on I will make a lot of videos until the game is released. 
So stay tuned, have a little bit of faith here in me. And I know even if there is not much content at the moment, as soon as the stress test launches and as soon as the Rush Island developers give me something I can play and record, I will show you a lot more. I could start making videos of Battlefield and DayZ and, you know, Rust and H1Z1, but I think I will just concentrate on Survive the Nights, Rush Island and Star Wars Battlefront. I'm very excited. I made a video of this right here. It's not the fanboy view that all the others did. It's more like an objective, you know, view on the game trailer with some common sense. And also, I, ha I haven't forgot what EA, DICE and Visceral and companies like that have done in the past. And I'm just comparing basically what we get to see here to the products that were released in the past. And yeah, honestly, I gotta say, dark side is rising from day to day and even guys like Angry Joe have made some negative comments already and until now I can't say if the game will be good or not because it would be way too early the game comes out in November so I wait for more information then I put a video together there are so many Star Wars channels out there I don't want to spam every day a two minute or three minute video it doesn't make no sense I wait until there is some information then I cut together a well edited and scripted video that you guys can actually enjoy. With that being said, I already thanked you guys for subscribing and I get a lot of views honestly, at least 1000 per week, but from the subscriber standpoint, I don't know, maybe I have a problem with marketing or something, but I do my best, you know, I'm also working on a channel overhaul, but that will take I think two to three weeks or a month or I don't know man. It's really hard to say how long it takes because I want it to look really nice. And I can just say, support me a little bit, share my videos and tell your friends maybe about the channel, you know. I'm just a one-man show and I put a lot of work into it and until now, money-wise, it doesn't pay off at all. I do it just for fun and to see a little bit more help of my really in dear hardcore fans. Guys, that would be really much appreciated at the moment. As I said, subscribe and like my Facebook page to take part in giveaways. There will be some and I already announced that the Survive the Nights giveaway will be and I gave some keys away for the Heroes of the Storm beat on my Facebook page. But at the moment, as you know, we have to wait until Survive the Nights comes to Steam, so that takes at least another four months. So I can't do the giveaway until September. That sucks. Maybe I do a giveaway at 500 subscribers from a game that you guys are actually interested in. And yeah, that's all that happened that week. What would interest me really much is why are people unsubscribing? What are people expecting? And why are people sometimes disliking my videos? I mean, I know from my own experience that sometimes you dislike a video because you had a bad day or because you think, ah, more often than not, honestly, click the like button because I see the video content for what it is and the information, if it's good or not, and if there is some work in the video. So if you don't like something, just maybe write me a message and tell me your honest critical feedback because I really wanna to get a little bit of a bigger audience and that would maybe help me to get some more viewers in here. And the other thing I do, as you already know, is from time to time I post this music videos from a friend who asked me if I can maybe upload the music he plays and it's not for views or anything but if you enjoy a two minute music track classical piano cover then why not look into it and this is some kind of jazz or something I don't know I'm not so much into music it could be something completely different I just can tell you it's not techno or something okay so check it out it's actually a whole band from my friend Phantom and the Raw Ones. So if you enjoy music, why not give this a shot? As I said, I will focus on Rush Island Survive the Nights and the new game that comes out. And also, yes, I also said, I think a few weeks ago, that there is a game called Temporal Online that I was asked for to make some videos. But I found out last week that the developers actually split up and now one of them uh, has actually deleted me without any comment. I don't know. He asked me if I can make videos. Now he just deleted me and blocked me. So I don't know what's going on here. It's a crazy world. And with the other two guys, I was talking on Skype, writing a few sentences and they told me they are brainstorming a new project for some new ideas. and. They will let me know as soon as they have something, so I wouldn't count on that for the next few months as well. But, as I said, within the next 30 days, 
there will be a world premiere on my channel where I got the exclusive so you cannot find content anywhere else on YouTube. It will be just me and maybe that brings some of the audience in. You can just hope because I really enjoy making videos, you know, I love it. I get inspired by people like Frankie on PC, Jack Frags and even the little Psy Syndicate sometimes is really funny. So I thought why not try it myself. I love video editing since I'm nine and I did so much more projects that I have uploaded here on YouTube from private stuff over stuff for school and stuff for my family it's, and a lot of more game videos but the old things I don't want to upload here, they have nothing to do here. So from this point forward guys, I really enjoy it, hope we can get some subscribers in and really reach the 400 subscriber mark maybe in May and for now that's all I have to say. I see you in the next video. I look that I can put up more content, but with the STN devs being very quiet and with the Rush Island dev team not being right on the schedule, it's pretty hard to say how much content there is coming. I just can promise you when I have something of the game I can't reveal right now from that I will make a lot more videos because it's awesome and the graphics look amazing and that's all I can tell basically. So guys, thanks for listening again to my blabbling as every week and yeah, until next time, really enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Quartox, HEV, out!